It's very difficult to get started with things. Starting something new is sometimes scary, and it's often, very often, very difficult. Why? I tried to start this video five or six times, and most of those times I stopped because or I, rather I didn't stop I just never got started because I thought that I would fix one more thing and get one more thing ready so that this video would be as close to perfect as I could make it but that's not what this video series is about this video series is about truth and it's about being less scripted and so I'm trying to get out of this habit of having things be so scripted and perfect because they don't really need to be rather I should be working on things in a um, in a more fluid organic way so what is this this is soldier hug a mind test game world and then what is the name come from well, the name comes from actually another game called Nomoria that my wife and I were playing before I started playing this one with her and in that game you have these little gnomes and they uh, you have the ability to tell them to create different things like uh, sandwiches and omelets and cheeses and things like that and one of the quirks of the game is that if your little gnome makes a legendary quality item of food, the game will give that item of food a special name. Sort of like Excalibur is a sword with a special name. So one day while we were playing, uh, we got a notification that one of the uh, cooks, his name was Frank, had created a legendary cheese or omelet. I think it was a cheese. Uh, but uh, so I went and looked at the, uh, the items that he had created recently, and I found that this omelet or cheese had been named Soldier Hug. And I thought that was an interesting name. So when we started playing Mind Test, the Mind Test game, before you can actually play, you create a world. And the first thing that you do when you're creating a world is you have to give your world a name. And you have to give your world a name before you have even seen anything about it. I used a uh, specific seed based on the date when we started playing and this was the world that was created by that seed and so this is soldier hug I'm also using soldier hug as the name of this video series a series that uh, I intend to be, uh, as I said, less scripted than my previous videos, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, I can make these videos about 15 or 20 minutes long and let you watch as I make improvements to the Soldier Hug world and 
maybe you can learn something from my thoughts as I am playing. So why is it so hard to get started on something, to begin something new? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with our perception of our lives as being sort of an arc, kind of like this. We are born, we grow up, we gain skills, we build things, we achieve things, we get uh, larger salaries, and then as we get to near the end of our lives, we run out of stamina, we run out of uh, relevance, we lose everything that we have built up. This is the hallmark, I think, of kind of an evolutionary philosophy that uh, we had, we built things up as we were growing and then uh, things started falling apart for us because we've, we've got a limited amount of uh, life force, if you will. But I don't think that that is a really a very accurate uh, understanding of life. Um, I really don't. Because we have um, beyond our own abilities we have the blessings that are given to us by God. So even though we make mistakes and run out of stamina and falter and our strength fails. That is not the, the entirety of life. There is more to life than our abilities and strengths. And I don't believe that um, I don't believe that God's plan for us is for us to um, live and die and have all of our life meaning based on an arc that rises and then falls. I believe that God created us for purposes and one of those purposes is for us to grow and learn and become better and to really to live in an upward spiral. God doesn't want us to have an arc, he wants us to have an upward spiral. And how do we do that since we are um, subject to um, deterioration in so many aspects of our lives? Well, the simple thing is that uh, God does not want our lives to be
quantified in that way. Uh, the things that we consider important often are not. So how do we get to where we are looking at things accurately and seeing things as God wants us to see them? Well, God provides us with, I believe, continuous progressive revelation of his will and of the truths around us. So we can continuously learn and grow and continue upward, even though our bodies may falter and deteriorate we still have the opportunity because our souls are eternal to continue on and grow in this upward spiral that that is what I believe. <laughs> so that's uh, kind of what I was talking about uh, right there. Things don't always happen the way we plan. I received a phone call a few minutes ago, and I had to answer it, even though I was in the middle of recording an episode. And that's OK, because uh, things happen like that sometimes. Was talking about not uh, being kept from starting things just because they won't be perfect and that really kind of showed what I was talking about there So don't worry if things are not perfect. Start something because God has placed in your life talents and skills that that match up to his plan. And even though, even though things may not go according to our plans, his plan is perfect. He knows far better than we do what we need. So how does the upward spiral work? Well, the way that the upward spiral works is through continuous progressive revelation, which is the idea that as we uh, walk with God, he shows us new things and the more we walk with him, the more he shows us, and the better um, 
So as we um, as we begin in life, we know very little about God's ways, and we are not able to follow his plans very closely. But as we go through life and we see more things and work to uh, carry out what he's shown us he wants in our lives, he shows us more so that we will be able to do more properly. So through the through continuous progressive revelation, God shows us more things as we go through life and we become able to do more of his will because we are learning more of his will. And the other part of this, so part of this is God's revelation to us. Um, so we have this continuous and progressive revelation of God's will. And as we learn more of God's will, we are then better able to do God's will and to understand the revelation that he is showing us. So we grow and we grow in our ability to grow. And we do this by by carrying out to the best of our ability what we understand. So until we are able to do all of God's will, we do all that we can of God's will. And as we do what we can, God shows us more of what we can do and reveals to us more of our ability to do his will. So that's how we move in an upward spiral. Um, and then on top of that, as we come to the end of our earthly lives, we have been in relationship with him and working to put into practice the continuously progressive revelation that he has made to us. We go, as the Bible says, from strength to strength. And at the end of our earthly lives, we go on to the world that he, the world to come that he has created for us to live in so that's the upward spiral I hope that you have enjoyed this and that you have found it to be 
helpful in your spiritual walk. And I hope that you will join me again for my next video in Soldier Hug. You know, when I started this video, I thought I would, uh, I would be building the beginning of this tunnel down, and I just kept trying to do more things to make it perfect, to make it a good start. And I ended up completely missing out on showing you how I really started this and the things that I uh, went through as far as um, as far as development of ideas because I was so eager to have it be just right so don't make that mistake with your projects. Just get started and see what comes of it. Again, thank you for joining me and I hope that you will join me for another episode of this series. See you then.